Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Will's Vintage Treasures and I am parked outside my local Goodwill and we are gonna head inside to see what we can find to flip for a profit. And this is officially our first thrift trip for the new year, 2022. So let's see what we can find to flip for a profit. So I spotted this picture frame here. It was giving me like rustic cottage core vibes, but I did go ahead and leave that on the shelf. So this caught my attention here. Sorry, I knocked over that little vase there, but unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't know, but I believe this is Murano glass, just going by the sticker, and I'll explain more on that. Keep watching for the haul. So I thought that was a pretty little glass container. So this was giving me treasure craft vibes, and yeah, I think I'm going to grab that. So this bag was these pretty um, wooden bowls and smaller bowls, but for $14.99, I went ahead and passed. This made in Italy um, veggie tray. I thought it was really unique, so I am going to go ahead and grab that. I did like the um, veggie handles. I thought that was really cool. And if you guys follow me, I just sold some international um, casserole dish, and those were some bowls and plates, but I passed. I thought this was a pretty plate as well. It was a more modern piece. And I was trying to check out that wicker basket, but it had a lot of damage, so I did go ahead and leave that behind. And if this video seems really fast, guys, I didn't get a lot of filming inside the store because it was so crazy busy. I couldn't believe it for a Sunday. And this is Ir Irwin or Irvine, I believe. It's like a condiment um, serving tray. Not a lazy, a Susan server, I believe it's called. But all the pieces were there, so I thought that was pretty cool. I grabbed it. Looks like a little sugar dish there. I thought it was interesting. And for, uh, I wasn't familiar with that. I did like the look of it, but I wasn't familiar with the name. That looks like a little Asian-inspired vase there. And I spotted this um, glass pitcher here. I believe this is Indiana glass. I really like the look of it, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that as well. That's just a little milk glass creamer there. And this was really nice as well, but I did see some damage there on the handle, so I did go ahead and pass on those as well. And I thought these were interesting. They were just little mini um, ramekins shaped like apples. Not really good resale. And those appear to be some napkin holders. So I didn't know what this was, guys. Let me know if you're familiar. But I guess you could use it to hold your utensils or something, possibly. Okay, guys, here is my thrift haul. Hey, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed the shop with me part of the video. It was short. Um, the store was very chaotic and busy. I was really shocked on a Sunday. But um, I'm going to go ahead and include the haul. So it's a win-win. So anyway, we're going to get right into it. And I'm down in my basement. This is my little um, reselling nook that I just set up recently. So, just so if anyone's curious where I'm at. So, I picked up, I think I spent $51 on this particular trip. I think the color, color of the day was yellow, possibly. Or no, it was, blue tag was $0.25. Cents. So, people were really going crazy with the clothing. But, I wasn't there for that. So, anyway. A lot of the things I was looking for, people were like looking for other stuff. I did pay up for one item and I hope I get a good return on it and I'll show that to you guys. So let's just get right into these ice pitchers. So I believe this is um, Anchor Hawking and it's filthy. And I believe it's the cubic pattern. And I thought it was a great price. A lot of times they're always selling these for about $4.99. This one was $3.99, and it's going to clean up really nice, so I'm not even worried about it. But it doesn't have any chips or cracks on it, so I did go ahead and pick that up. And bear with me, because I literally am filling the Goodwill haul, like, right after the video you just watched. So, 
I find for me, guys, being a YouTuber is a lot of work. And I find for me, I have to put these videos and get them wrapped up and done within a day or two. Because once it drags out, it just, things start to get mixed together and it gets confusing. You forget how much things cost. And so we're trying something different this year. I'm going to try to get everything um, knocked out within a day or two when I record the videos. Anyway, that's all behind the scenes talk. You don't care about that. So here's another um, ice pitcher I picked up. I believe this is Indiana glass from what I researched real quick in the store. I don't know what the pattern is right offhand because I didn't do that much research, but it's not something I see very often. And I would imagine it probably came in different colors as well. So I don't know if the um, clear is gonna be as popular, but for $1.99, I did go ahead and get this and you know these are heavy but I believe I can get these in a 12 by 12 by 8 box so it still does keep the shipping fairly not too expensive once you get past that 12 by 12 um, I use a lot of those priority boxes shipping jumps outrageous so um, I thought this was pretty cool this is made in Italy and it's just like a little hors d'oeuvre tray. You know, you can have some cheeses, meats here, uh, maybe some type of, or you could have veggies here, maybe some type of dip there. It has a couple spots for like deviled eggs or whatever. But I thought it was really neat because the handles are actual vegetables. And like I said, it's made in Italy. And I've sold different serving trays and they do fairly decent for me. And for $1.99, I decided to go ahead and pick this one up. It doesn't have any chips or cracks. I don't, I did not research this. I just looked at it and said, that's really cool. So I grabbed it. So I hope it's not missing any type of like containers or anything like that. I don't think it is, but I don't know that for sure. So I did go ahead and pick that up. Um, you know, I don't know how much I would price something like that. I have to research it. But ice pitchers, I'll probably start those around $24. And like I said, I'm constantly running a sale in my store, so. So, let's see. I picked up these glasses. I'm hoping they clean up nice. Um, they were only $0.49 cents each. And they're just those frosted blue glasses. Um, so, I'm sure there may have been a pitcher, possibly, that went with this. But I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Because someone that just wants the frosted blue look... I think this will be perfect for, or if you already have a frosted um, ice pitcher you can, and you need the glasses, hopefully those will work. I'm not sure who the maker is on those, so if you know, let me know. So I picked those up. And I picked this little syrup bottle up. It almost has like a diamond pattern to it. I feel like I did kind of pay up for it at $3.99. But I'll tell you the reason why I did go ahead and pick this one up. Um, it kind of has that stainless steel look. I believe that's all plastic, but the little um, door is metal. So I just really like the look of it. And I feel like you can kind of pair this up with just about anything. So, and it says it's the Grace is the name on the bottom. So I'm not familiar with that as well, so I need to look this up. But I did not look this up in the store. I just grabbed it, so got that. Now, this particular piece here, guys, reminds me. I did not look this one up either, but I just thought it was so unique that I grabbed it. But um, it has markings on the bottom, and I'm sure the mold is probably 758. Then it has W1101 USA. So, just looking at it, it reminds me of Treasure Craft, but I don't know if it is. Um, I don't know if Treasure Craft puts their name on everything, but that's the marking on the bottom. And I paid $1.99 for this. I didn't think that was bad. It's just a little, probably like a little candy dish or nut dish or... I guess you could use it for jewelry. I mean, whatever. But it's in great shape. The only issue I seen was a small chip here on the bottom. But just to display it, you wouldn't even see it. So that's why I went ahead and grabbed it. I figured it was still worth saving. And then I like the vibrant yellow, orange, and red colors in there. I think it's really nice. 
and it almost has a flower pattern to it. So I thought that was pretty cool. Now this is a unique piece. So let's see, I can peel the price tag off now, but it kind of has a seashell look to it. And I'll show you guys, I paid $1.99 for this. I thought it was really pretty. Now where I'm slightly confused, I don't know if the base was glued on or added afterwards. I don't know for sure. And I don't see any maker's mark because this is like really nice glass here and then you have kind of like this resin. So I, I don't know if that was added after, but I'll let the new owner determine if they want to keep that on there or take it off. Because the bottom of this actually looks like it was sanded down flat. So I don't know if that was an after thought for, from someone. But anyway, I still think it's pretty. And it says Saint or Stal Morano Glassware. That's what it says, Stal Morano Glassware. So whether or not it is Morano, I'm not sure. I have to research. It says Crystal Clear Made in Italy. So there's the sticker in there. So is this Morano glass? And if it is Morano glass, I have to say that I don't think this would have been on there. So I feel like maybe someone added that if this is truly Morano glass. So if you're familiar with that label, um, you know, I have to research it myself. As I film this video, I have not done my research. So, like I said, I don't pick up a lot of milk glass, but I will pick, pick up milk glass um, candle stick holders because I feel like those do sell. And they're dirty, so they need a good cleaning. I only pay 99 cents each, so I don't expect to probably get any more than 12 to $15 for those. And I picked up this little um, trinket dish for 99 cents. I like the color of it and it has like the feather with the gold accents. I didn't see any chips or cracks on it. I did not see a maker's mark, so I'm not sure. But just to look at the colors, um, it looks like it would be, you know, from the 1950s or 60s if I had to take a guess. That's what it looks like. If you think otherwise, let me know. So for 99 cents, I did go ahead and take a chance on that. So these remind me of, I, blink, I think it's called Blinko, like that frosted look. Um, they are oil in vinegar bottles, and I sell these all the time, guys. I know they don't seem like a big deal, but they sell for me, and I can sell these between $10 and $15. Um, they're vintage anchor hawking. You can see the symbol there, but I've never seen them with the green, like frosted look. So, yeah, so I picked those up. Okay, so like I was saying, I picked those up because I thought they were unique for 99 cents each. So, uh, hopefully they'll clean up nice. We'll see. So I picked those up. And sometimes it gets kind of rough sitting down here on the floor on your back. Um, what else? So this was another item. We all know the pattern. It's the king's crown. But I've never ran across the um, sugar and creamer set. So I thought that was really unique. And they were only 49 cents each. So I grabbed those right up. I don't believe this would have came with a lid. I, don't, I wouldn't imagine. But if it does, let me know. I don't think it did, but no chips or cracks. Um, I like, I think they're the perfect small size. So yeah, and actually I have a, I don't have it right here in front of me, but uh, one second, let me show you guys. Okay, so I had to kind of dig for this, but I have, I thrifted the King's Crown serving um, platter. So now that I'm thinking, since I found the sugar and creamer, this would make a great set, right? I don't know if they're quite the same color green, though. I can't tell. But these appear a little darker. But I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. 
I could pair this up and sell it all together. It's a possibility. But anyway, I thrifted this a while ago. I thought it was really cool. I don't see that very often. So I got that. And I'm going to make that a set. I don't know yet. Um, and what else do we have? Oh, I picked up... Now, I see these in Goodwill all the time, but I never see them in their original box. But this is Urban Wear. And it's a Gourmet Susan, it's called. And that's what it looks like there. And all the pieces were in here. I only paid $2.99. Looks like it may just need clean but all the parts are here and what's really nice is all the spoons are here as well i've never seen the spoons with the, these sets before but i'm not going to pull it all out the box but as you can see it's all in there so i grabbed that and i was excited that it was in its original box so it's the gourmet susan not the lazy susan the gourmet susan okay so I think I showed you all the hard goods. So I just have this bag here of stuff. A couple things, not a whole lot that I want to show you. So every once in a while, I do look at the clothing just to see. And I like to sell vintage clothing. Like that's kind of like what I'm leaning more towards nowadays. So I picked up this cool Campus Studio One men's vintage leather coat. And it is in awesome condition. It still has the inner liner that you can take out. Um, it's genuine leather. It was a great size. It's a 42, 42 long. Um, I used to be able to wear a 42. I don't know if I can fit that anymore. But anyway, um, yeah, it has the nice, I think they're called the lapel collars. I don't know, guys. It's awesome. And it's in great condition, so... I paid $20 for this coat, so I'm going to be pricing it according to what I paid for it, and it's vintage, so it's going to be priced up, you know. I'm going to price this up. I may sit on this for a while, but I do believe it will sell, whether it sells to a prop company, stage play, movie production, or someone just likes that 70s look, because I feel like this is a good one. It's, I mean, it has no wear. The buttons are all still intact. Um, doesn't have a funny smell to it. This was very well kept. So $20, that was my most expensive item I picked up. I think that's really sharp though. And we're almost done. So I've picked up the teapots before and I know the teapots have good resale value, which I have right here actually. This is the Primulus Clear you know, percolating teapot, those have good resale. So I happened to find thermos and I was lucky to find three. So they're a variety of colors. They were only 99 cents each. I didn't even bother to do comps on these, but I will double check, but they're brand new. And you know, if you've bought thermoses, they can get kind of pricey. I'm gonna lot these together and sell them. Um, I thought, you know, someone, if you work and you like to take soup to work or whatever the case, you have three of them that you can interchange throughout the week, right? So I got those. No clue what they're gonna be priced at. And I don't know if this one's Primulus or just another. I may keep that one. I just thought it was really cool. I just like this. I could see, um, having my coffee in this in the morning and it looks brand new as well so someone donated all their thermoses but i just like the look of this um you could have some nice chilled wine in there that stays nice you don't have to worry about it spilling so i i'm and it's my one of my favorite colors so i might just keep that one and last but not least i think this is it guys this appeared to have some age. Um, just looking at that lid, that looks really old to me. Um, I'm not, you know, I don't know for sure, but this looks really old. I don't, I would almost want to say 1920s, but I'm not sure. And just the way the glass handle looks like it was melted and attached, 
Um, I don't really see a maker's mark, but this looks appears old. So I would say this is a really old syrup bottle and I got it for $1.99. So yeah. So anyway, guys, tell me what you thought was a good buy. Um, tell me what you've seen in the video that you think I may have missed because I know I do miss items. And if you are still watching the video at this point, thank you. I appreciate you. And please consider subscribing to my channel because it does help the channel out a lot. And make sure you give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whichever you prefer. And I think that's it. So I am going to go get some items either cleaned, listed. There's always something that needs done as a reseller. And I hope you guys have a great day, evening, morning, whenever you happen to be watching this video. And once again, Happy New Year. Stay safe. And I will see you guys in another video real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.